What's wrong with me? He's gone, but it keeps pushing me. Toward what? I want to talk about, I mean, su such a brilliant performance. I think we learn kind of pretty quickly on that Amanda is someone who is trapped between two worlds. There's, for lack of a, I think that's probably the best way to put it. How do you approach that and get to that emotional space? Well, you know, I guess I try to a little bit imagine what her her real life was like, you know, mm -hmm. and I think she had a lot of unhappiness in it in relationships and a lot of loneliness and and i think of fragility you know some people are just mm -hmm. born that way um you know there's a nature versus versus nurture and i think that there is a certain piece of it that's like some people can take tougher stuff than other people and then some people can't take it and they have to split off or do something to try to try to protect themselves and i kind of put her in that in that place so i put her in sort of a real place um like disappointments hit some people harder than others. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so I think by placing her that way, um, that helped me to empathize with her and sort of see that actually when she's having a hard time, she's really, she's really trying to cope. Even if it looks like she's escaping by doing not good things, it really is a version of actually she is trying to help herself, but not with the best methods. <laughs> yeah, I mean, an escape is such an interesting word because it's like, how how do you normally escape these feelings when they're just all inside your head? Obviously, Booyah Moon in the story presents an interesting place. I mean, in a sense, she can escape to there, but she's also kind of trapped by it. Do you see her as being trapped there, in a sense, mentally, I guess? Yeah, you can only escape for so long, mm -hmm. you know, really. Um, and it just... It, it maybe feels really good in the moment. It's like, it's such a relief in the moment. And I, but in the long run, it just, you're, you're, you're gonna not have a very full life if you just mm -hmm. keep, you know, escaping, escaping, escaping. This does take you to some very emotional, intense places. How then on the other side of that, when you wrap for the day, how do you kind of bring yourself back to earth? How do you de-stress? Well, I usually after it's, you know, actually even as, as intense it is, as it is, there is a certain amount of, if you feel like it's gone well, there is a certain amount of just like, yay, I did yeah. it, you know? So there is, uh -huh. there, there, there is some of that. And then there's also like, oh, thank God, I don't have to do that again right now. Um, and there's a little bit of like getting in the car and having the driver take me home going like, I'm kind of tired right now. Yes. <laughs> Cause you know, even though you're pretending, you still are really kind of, you're kind of really going through it. And, um, a version, mm -hmm. at least a version of it, but all worth it. And I had a great director to help me through and he gave me lots of confidence and, and, uh, support. So that, that made a big difference. Pablo Lorraine really strikes me as a director that kind of knows how to work with actors really well, especially going through grief or some trauma in their lives. I think he's able to kind of guide that in a very graceful way. Certainly. Absolutely. 100%. There's a place. I'll take you there. What is this? Where are we?